Yeah, yeah. And yeah. and and you know, pretty 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 soon after you joining AOL, uh, I think uh, uh, was it Chamat uh, Pali Patia who was the guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we, we did this great deal with with AOL, and then uh, Chamat left <laughs> to go to Facebook. That's right. Um, but I wish him well. I wish him well. Yeah, and the rest was history. We did, we did but, deal with him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and and that I guess. Uh, were you still then uh, hiring and, and building building plaques yeah. or within AOL as an independent entity or? Oh, well, so we weren't bought by AOL. Um, you were partnered, people. not. We were partnered. We were, yeah, you were bought later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were bought later on. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. We, we we spent um, you know several months trying to build an integration with AOL and with Instant Messenger and all these other sorts of things, and so that was the. Yeah, and did you ever great. run into because uh, both Sean and Chamat were very involved with uh, Facebook during this time? Did yeah. you ever run into either of them during this time? Was it all well, so, awkward? So, uh, uh, Chamath and I actually did the deal, right, to do the AOL deal, right? And uh, uh, you know, I remember one board meeting where I said, "Oh, yeah, we, this is fantastic. You know, we've got this great person, Chamath, who's our champion, but we have everybody from Ted Leonsis on down uh, working with us and supporting us." And then, like a month later, everybody from Ted Leonsis on down was gone, including including Chamath. Uh, but so, you know, so, so you feel like what? What just happened? And guys, hello, anybody here? Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, one thing is another lesson, right? Which is you don't you don't hitch your wagon to to any one star, right? You sort of have to, you know. And I think that's a mistake a lot of a lot of startups make is that they they get enamored of the, the big deal with the big company, and sometimes those are company making, but often they can be kind of company distracting. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. And certainly in the enterprise space, I think that that's more true than not, right? That, that uh, a lot of enterprise companies, startups make the mistake of, um, you know, putting all their time and effort into three big customers who end up hating them because they're, you know, they're, they're not ready for the large customers or the, cus the big customers want a lot of customization or they're, as a startup, they're not um, adept yet at managing the politics of large companies, right? And so I think you know, there are far more good examples of success where you know, startups start by working with small and me medium size or doing something that's repeatable, getting a basic solution that's great for lots of people, um, and then maybe moving uh, you know, to the larger companies over time.